Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, we're out to Bo-Katan in the uh, retro line, which is a cool looking figure. A lot of Mandalorians in this wave. Uh, this second wave, we've got Mandalorian, we've got Boba Fett, we've got Bo-Katan, we've got the Armourer. So four out of the five figures are Mandalorians, which is which is kind of cool. Um, I like it. I dig, I dig it. I like everyone loves the old vintage Boba Fett. So getting a new Boba Fett, which is really cool. And more, um, you know, more Mandos is, is, is awesome. Um, so yeah, same card as a regular TVC, just with this ugly sticker and all the rest of the garbage on it. Uh, same stuff on the back as the rest of them. And we'll just get straight into it. Um, it is nice to crack open a new figure. I, I just, I don't know, there's just something, a little bit of an endorphin rush I get opening new figures. <laughs> And I love what they've done with the with the helmet on this one. I'll zoom in a little bit. There we go. The way the sort of rangefinders sort of sculpted up the side of the helmet, very reminiscent of the vintage Boba. The jetpack looks nice. You know, again, sticking with the sort of very basic sort of four colours. You know, the sort of grey of the jumpsuit, blue. A little bit of silver, black and white. A little bit of green there for the uh, Night Owl logo on the helmet. So there's, what's that, six different colors. But again, sort of those poppy blue colors, really nicely done. Um, a lot of sort of paint sort of seeping off the armor on the shoulder there. But uh, that's no different to the old Kenner figures. They were, they were, some of them were pretty, pretty bad. They weren't all sort of painted with extreme care so yeah two blaster pistols which good nice sort of kind of looking Mandalorian whatever they're called I keep wanting to call them West Star but that's uh, that's Django sort of style so is she gonna hold these as well as some of the other figures that sounds that one seems to be okay in that hand sort of depends on the angle but that's that looks all right it's sort of you know they're not going to fall out or anything they look all right but yeah definitely capturing that sort of Kenner style which is cool I'm digging it I like the blues the greys sort of yeah just nice color tones for these nice and simple gets the point across and yeah definitely definitely a cool little figure I, I like it a lot. Nice sculpts all over. Belts, the sort of holsters there. Nice size peg holes on the bottom of the feet. So yeah, wondering whether they'll go into a third wave for the Mandalorian. I'd say they probably will. Um, you know, we're getting a Kenobi wave later in the year, which is an interesting one. I'm still still deciding whether I'm going to pick them up. More or less like these, I've, I've waited till they've actually been released and 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 now I'm just sort of picking them up. I don't have pre-ordered them. I was almost at the point, I was pretty much at the point where I said I wasn't interested in retro anymore. Um, but yeah, like I said in a previous, previous review that, uh, you know, just get a good look at them online and see other people's photos and stuff and, you know, it's cool. It's nice to get some something a little bit different every now and then. So here's Bo-Katan. Hope you've enjoyed this review. Got one more coming up and then I will be, you know, hopefully get the other two during the week, if not next week. So stay tuned because I will finish up the wave of uh, Mandalorian season two, wave two of the retro collection. So thank you very much for watching. Till the next video, may the force be with you always.